Hiya! <laughs> Why do I have stage fright? Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of us being two brunettes. Yes. It's a it's a different season. It really is. I I'm, I can't see anything actually. <laughs> so far away. I'm obsessed with it. I am excited for us. And we're no longer a brunette and blonde duo. No, we're not. Which is kind of sad. Kind of sad. But now we're a power duo. A power brunette duo. Yeah. I'm hoping so. Um, but it's been a few weeks since we've actually filmed. It has. And first of all, thank you for all the really 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 nice comments and feedback. Just then it felt like. The Hen Montana audio. Let's check if I got any new comments. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks for all your lovely comments. <laughs> no, but everyone's been so nice yeah, and supportive. And it means so much. Because, like, the fact that we just get to sit on my couch and, like, talk smack. Yeah. And call it our job. And yeah. you guys love watching it. It's so nice. So nice. And this is the first episode that we... Like, so when we filmed the second one, we hadn't uploaded the first one yet. Yeah. And so it was good. I feel like the first two were a bit like, oh, like we have, haven't Trial uploaded. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so it was good. Even like the few comments like, oh, do this, try this. We're like, okay, good. Like we needed a, a second to kind of yeah. like figure it out for ourselves. Regroup. Yeah. Yeah. Take on the criticism. Yes. Work out that Unfiltered was in fact a very popular <laughs> podcast. I hate us. And also it is so unlike me to not check. Yeah. And I just kept saying, yeah, yeah, I will, I will. And then what do I, what did I do? Just titled it. Like, we were like, use your brain for two seconds, Georgia. But, but a subscriber helped us rename it. So, did. shout out to you. We do instant. <laughs> Just a full spread. <laughs> it's so inappropriate. He has no insecurities. No. He's <laughs> the most confident <laughs> yeah. thing I know. If we could all just take a few notes from Winnie. Yeah. I try my best. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes I, like, try to see the world through his eyes. <laughs> Is that, like, the dumbest thing I've ever said? <gasps> no. But, like... He's just so happy about the, the little things. Yeah. And I'm like, I should be. Simplifying life. Yeah. We also just want to say we have listened to everyone who wants us to be a podcast. We just started this as like a bit of fun. Yeah. I feel like in my head, starting a podcast was like a bit too much commitment and just felt like another platform that I need to be on, which I just didn't want. Mm. And it felt like you had to be really consistent and yeah. upload like heaps, mm. which I didn't want either. Mm. So we're going to look into putting this on Spotify. We just need to get it all like sorted because it's a whole brand new thing to learn. Mm. But it'll be coming sometime soon. We were almost like opposed to it being a podcast at first. Cause like, no, like it's just a series on YouTube. Yeah. Like first episode went up. We're like, no, nah, definitely not. Second episode went up and still like the top comments, like make this a Spotify yeah. thing or something that I can just listen to in the car. And I was like, I do fully get that. Yeah. And so I think if we do even like put it on Spotify and like Apple podcasts or whatever, like it will, it won't be like a every week. Yeah. Don't because it, we never want it to be forced. I think mm. that's like the biggest thing. Like, of course we could film once a week, but we just never want to like sit down and be like, I actually don't have anything to say this week. Yeah. We completely. only really want to sit down and chat when we like have something we really, really want to say. Yeah. So even if it will be like a podcast thing, it will still be just It'll like, stay the same as what yeah. we've been doing so far. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah, it's been a few weeks. It has. So been what have you been weeks. up to? What have you been doing? I saw Harry Styles. Yeah, really up close and personal. I was about to meet it from him at one stage. And I cannot even tell you the fact. I was like a fan of him before. Mm. Loved him. Afterwards, obsessed with him. Can't stop thinking about him. (laughs) Having dreams about him. It's actually embarrassing. (laughs) Like, I get it, though. If I hadn't been to the concert, I probably wouldn't get it. Yeah. No, me neither. Mm. Oh, it was just like such a crazy experience. I got a tattoo. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. When you don't regret. When I don't regret. We love to see it. Um, I went brunette. Changed forever. Yeah, truly. I'm Harry changing. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, but... You know what I couldn't stop thinking when I saw Harry on stage? What? Was the fact that he had acted a whole movie with Florence. Same. I was thinking that, and I almost think that, like, made him even, like, higher. And even, yeah. like, less, like, a real person. Because I'm like, you're an actor. Like, you're in movies. Like, I watched you in the cinemas. Yeah. With Florence, pure of all people. Yeah. My actual girl crush. Oh, I'm actually in love with her. Yeah. Um, oh, And like the scenes you acted with her. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like how like was that? what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I'm so sorry, Winnie. I got a bit too. <laughs> yeah, everyone a bit of a fright. <laughs> so I think that's kind of what's been happening. Yeah. Recently, I've just really been craving change. Yeah. Hence I've, the hair. Hence the hair. Hence the tattoo. Hence yeah. the saying yes to like anything <laughs> yes <laughs> which i'm really enjoying anything that's spontaneous anything that i know that i'll look back on and be like that was fun or like yeah yes. for the plot yeah for the plot yeah for the plot yeah i love it 
I feel like you're always like that to yeah, a certain degree. I think so too. But recently you've just been on a whole nother level. Yeah, I just like any th- area that I can change, I want to. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I've been been up to. So our last episode, you were about to go to therapy. So true. How are we feeling? Because now went. you've had two sessions. Yeah. It's like, it's very interesting. Mm. It's like not what I expected, but equally I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah. But also because I've only had two sessions, it's just like us getting to know each other. The groundwork. Really like narrowing down on like what I want out of therapy. There wasn't like, I need help with this one thing. It was just yeah. like, I'm having an identity crisis. I need help in my adult life. Mm-hmm. But we're working on my core values at the moment because I feel like I don't really know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a whole thing to unpack yeah, itself. Yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, our first session was getting to know each other. And then the second session, we we're trying to figure out what my core values are. And I honestly was just like so angry at myself the whole session. Because like I didn't know the answers to things. Mm. Which is the whole point. Like that's why I'm there. But it was just like a lot of silence. And like she was obviously giving me time to think. But I was like, I li- my brain empty. Yeah. Like I have no thoughts right now. Yeah. And I'm paying you to hear my thoughts. And I have none. <laughs> Like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I have some homework to do. Like, thinking about your core values. Yeah. Because she drew, like, a diagram and, like, split it in four. One was, like, leisure, work, personal growth, and relationships. And she was like, how do you feel, like, the things you value in life go in each section of your life? And I was like, I literally can't, like, split my life up like that in my head. Like, my work is me. Personal growth is me. I don't leisure. <laughs> <laughs> or everything you do leisure becomes work becomes work Mm. and then my relationships I was like oh yeah yeah that's fine like I feel like my relationships are good yeah and I was just like I just don't know what's going on she's like you let's see each other in a fortnight I was like okay let's have some time to think so I'm yet to do that homework (laughs) when's your next (laughs) next week I'm excited to like know the answers to things and like get to know myself better so therefore we can like have a bit more of like a back and forth conversation yeah I actually didn't cry wow my first session I think we were saying in our last episode that I was so scared of crying in front of you but I actually like didn't cry did you want to I, my, my lips were like quivering like my chin was quivering and like my eyes were like watery yeah but I didn't shed a tear <laughs> but, nothing but like she didn't look at me funny at all she was just like she's probably so used to being yeah, literally like poorly and I was just like and, and then um, <laughs> and, um <laughs> it's good I'm excited for you to actually cry in therapy <laughs> like I it's think probably what I need you're really? like guess what I didn't cry <laughs> you're like the whole uh, point <laughs> like, it's not a flex maybe you should <laughs> <laughs> no, I should. We haven't got like hard hitting stuff. Yeah. Yet. Obviously, you still need to do your homework, but in terms of core values, do you feel like you've been thinking about it more and like, oh, I'm definitely feeling this one, or you know what I mean? Um, I haven't like really sat down to do my yeah. homework properly yet. Well, we were at lunch the other day and we were kind of going through the attachment. That was a different day. <laughs> the um, core values. Core like values. List. Yeah. And there's so many. I know. And it's almost like you can kind of. See like see yourself in different things like yeah little bits in each yeah but like, like i could easily have picked 10 but mm-hmm. like you kind of pick three but like things that will like really really never change yeah in you very true and it's like not how you want to be perceived it's not how you want to be it's, it's who you are, are to your core mm-hmm. without changing mm-hmm. which is so hard for me to wrap my head around yeah which is again the whole point yeah the whole point but also like I wrote down all of the ones that stood out to me and then I read them back to her and they were like kind of all the same mm. they were all like caring compassionate and like, like they're all the same yeah maybe there are ones in there that I don't want to be that I am mm. or that I don't know that I am yeah because I don't know myself because yeah. I've transformed myself for everyone in my life mm. nice and that's why we're in therapy yeah so I wanted to sit down and chat a bit about my sexuality and coming out journey because I feel like ever since I came out, it's been like one of my top questions. And when I was like thinking about this podcast, <laughs> I guess we can call it now. I yeah. guess this was one of those things that I was like, I can't just like chuck it in a random vlog mm. or it's like a sit down video. And that just like feels too serious. Yeah. When like, it's not. Puts too much pressure on it. Yeah. And so we just want to like use this series to chat about random things we wouldn't normally talk about in a vlog. Yeah. And my sexuality is one of them, mm-hmm. I would say. And also I think it's so nice like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way he recovered <laughs> he always does <laughs> again an inspiration <laughs> inspiration to all it's really nice that we get to sit down and chat about it too yeah because so really really pulled me through <laughs> last year and like i would probably still be in the closet <laughs> if i hadn't met you wow. i would say because you're just like honestly a rock Mm. And, like, really helped me. So I think it's nice we get to sit down and, like, chat. I think so, too. It does, however, feel necessary to disclaim some things. Because I know that sexuality, religion, that whole, like, world of things is very touchy. And I... Literally, the last thing I would want is to hurt someone's feelings. Mm -hmm. Ever. Yeah. Um, So this is obviously just my personal experience. If you disagree, 
like it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. because it's my experience yeah and no one else's and i also don't want to like discredit anyone's religions anyone's beliefs thoughts whatever everyone just is like i would expect them to do the same to me exactly everyone is allowed to believe what they want to believe mm. we are going to respect what you believe and expect that in return yeah, yeah. completely 100 percent. and someone else's story doesn't take away from what you you know like doesn't take away from your story and vice versa yeah i would just rather this be like if i had watched this a year or two ago it would have helped me like immensely yeah kind of like reading Evelyn Hugo and kind of like watching the TV show The Wilds. If you are struggling with your sexuality, read Evelyn Hugo and watch The Wilds. I didn't realize Evelyn Hugo was that for you as so much. Yeah. Wow. When did you read that? Kind of like the start of last year, which just really started it all, didn't it? <laughs> Truly. Last year was a lot. What? I really don't really give myself credit and I kind of forget. Yeah. And then I look back and I'm like, oh. Well, even there's that trend going around on TikTok right now that's like, things that would send March 2020 to 2020 me into a coma. Mm. And it's like when you were, when I was reading yours, I was like, the things you have done in three yeah. years. And like, like she you said, would be in a coma. <laughs> literally. She wouldn't everything, believe it. Everything. Everything there. <laughs> and like, you, you kind of sit back and you're like, Oh, like I, have I even achieved anything in my life? Have mm. I even grown? Have I even done this? And it's like three years, all of that has happened. Yeah. Like that is crazy yeah it's kind of like when i read my journal entries from last year i'm like oh my gosh i can't even believe i thought that yeah because i feel so like different to that now Mm. that i have forgotten yeah that i do forget i wrote i think that's probably why you don't realize how much you're growing because you just forget how you used to think yeah and then you read back and you go that's those those are my like true inner like deepest thoughts yeah a year ago and now like that's completely opposite to how i feel yeah it's that's why you forget and you're like oh i don't change at all yeah like i don't grow at all because I, I feel like when I was growing up, when I would journal, I would write almost as if someone was going to find it. Like if my parents were going to find it and I just like didn't want to say anything that like I actually thought deep yes. in myself. And then I remember last year I wrote journal. I was like, I think I'm gay, but like this is the first time I'm writing it. But like, I don't think anyone's going to read it. So I think I should write it. But equally, I don't know if I believe it. And blah, blah, blah. It was just like, I look back and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Bless her little heart. Oh, I know. To stop. She's really <laughs> out here. Like even this time last year, but especially 2020. 2020 i always gotta say 2022 2020 march you yeah if she could have a conversation with you no now, i would very politely slap her in the face <laughs> babes come on <laughs> let's figure what are this you out. doing <laughs> no uh, but i think one of sophie and i's most iconic conversations between the two of us mm. we were sitting in my car before going into the gym and this girl walked out of the gym into her car and I was like, oh, don't you think she's so attractive? And so I was like, oh, what do you mean attractive? I was like, oh. Like attractive? You know, and you're like, like she's pretty. And I was like, interesting. We really, yeah. And then it was just a ripple. It was kind of a ripple from there. Cause I think I even, I think it was literally that exact time where I was like, I think there's a difference between like wanting to be her or wanting to be with her. And yeah. you were like, Ah, oh. <laughs> that was really a quote that really stuck with me a lot, didn't it? And you were just always there, like, just egging me on a little bit, asking the right questions. Yeah. And the thing is, is like, it's not like I was just like, oh, I think she is before you even re- like knew. Yeah. I had no, like, I didn't even ever think about it. Because mm. as well, when we were, when we first met, you were like, I want a tradie boyfriend. <laughs> And I no. fully, like, was just like, yeah, like, yeah. So I see that for you, honestly. Like, love that. And then there was just, like, certain conversations that we'd have. And then I didn't even really realize I was, like, kind of asking the right questions. I was just kind of like, oh, like. But also, like, you were just one of the first people who came into my life without knowing me growing up. And also without being raised religiously. Yeah. You were low-key like a blank canvas mm. without even realizing that you were. Like yeah. you weren't even trying. Well, like me just getting to know you. Yeah. Was kind of helping you getting to know you. 100%. Because Almost. I didn't have anyone by my side answering for me or I wasn't answering because I knew that they would want me to answer that way. Yeah. If that makes sense at all. I was a mess. <laughs> what can I just say? I mean, I think you held it together very well. Yeah. On the outside. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Yeah. And then, like, sometimes I just chat to you and you'd be like, oh, I just journaled, like, 10 pages last time. I was like, I'm thinking there's a lot going You're like, on. Are you okay? Because <laughs> I, I would be a lot to journal 10 yeah. pages. Like, clearly there's a lot of thoughts in your yeah. going on. It was just, like, because I was raised so religiously, everything was, like, contradicting what I had convinced myself in my head or what everyone I loved around me thought. Mm-hmm. Like, I grew up going to church and, like, 
<laughs> praying that the gay marriage thing like didn't get approved you know yeah and then once we started talking about it and like just those little conversations every now and then it mm. literally just like whew, yeah and like everything just kind of started making sense mm-hmm. i like think back to like my celebrity crushes <laughs> or like the fact that i did search up girls kissing on youtube <laughs> like <laughs> why did i like think that that was fine yeah. not fine but like why did i think that was normal yeah like, like that's you what didn't... straight people do yeah 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 <laughs> Oh. And I would say, I feel like this is embarrassing, but I know, I know that there are people on TikTok who agree. Mm. TikTok, like, really helped me come to terms with it mm-hmm. and, like, made me realize. So many other people feel the same. Yeah. Mm. Like, you know, when people were like, I was laughing at this TikTok and then I saw it, it was like, hashtag mental illness or something. <laughs> and you're like, oh, like, it's because I'm anxious. It's because I'm depressed. It's like, I'm laughing and, like, relating to these TikToks so hard. Literally, hashtag LGBT. I'm like... <laughs> oh like i think tiktok's trying to tell me something yeah yeah I'm like oh why are all these gay people on my few page <laughs> like what do you think why am i on lesbian tiktok <laughs> that's weird <laughs> anyway I'm watching them so many times so engaging with, with them. them yeah literally <laughs> yeah it's ridiculous and i remember i love reading back my old journal entries because it really is like a huge slap in the face and like literally forget everything that i wrote mm. but i have a journal entry where it was early last year and i was like actually like oh, i think this is like part of who i am but like here is a here's like a pros and cons list here's a list of people who will probably hate me for it and here's a list of people who will not care either way <laughs> and i just like would stare at the list being like is it worth it like wow you would probably agree i was fully convinced that like i could like live my life as a life for so long absolutely because i had until that point yeah even i remember <clears throat> having conversations like kind of you had said to me like i'm bi or gay or whatever and i was like do you think you'll ever say it online and you were kind of like no yeah i think because like people pleasing was so almost like natural for me Mm. i was like it's not hard that i can like keep this a secret like it actually doesn't matter Mm. but i feel like the longer i sat with it and actually like the more people i told the like easier it was it was almost like it was this huge deal and then you tell one person you're like oh yeah or like they reacted like oh okay and Mm. i'm like oh like it literally doesn't matter it is not a big deal at all yeah and it was just one of those situations I, like, really built up so much in my head. Mm-hmm. And you, like, assume people are going to react a certain way. You and then do. they surprise you and don't at all. But I feel like I came out, like, very slowly. Yeah. To a lot of people. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but it was the timing that, like, you needed. Yeah. Like, you couldn't have just done it all in the no. same, like, week. Like, I came out to most of my closest friends, like, very slowly, mm. periodically. And also, like, very casually because I didn't want to be, like... I have something to tell you guys it's really Sit important down. and deep like, get, get ready <laughs> take a I seat like girls <laughs> i am gay <laughs> also reaction <laughs> <laughs> but like equally i didn't think it was a big deal but i also like was drunk most of the time <laughs> that i told everyone liquid courage which is so embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> rachel and i both <laughs> so wine drunk what would you, you say if, <laughs> what would you say what would you say if i liked girls I remember she was literally, like, oh, okay. <laughs> Moved on. I sat across the table and I was like, because I was also drunk. So I was just like, oh, gosh. I can't. But, yeah. like, whatever it takes. Yeah. You know? Everyone was so nice mm. and so encouraging. Yeah. Even the people who I really was not expecting mm-hmm. to take it well. Yeah. Like, I still have everyone in my life. Yeah. Who I did, which I was not expecting yeah. at all. Yeah. The pros and cons list did not think the, that. The pros and cons list <laughs> were wrong. <laughs> like, I pushed it down so much without even realizing that I was pushing it down, I never, like, once thought that I would be gay. Yeah. And then... Because you never let yourself think. Yeah, like, my brain just, like, literally wouldn't... It wasn't even like, oh, I have a thought, oh, I'm pushing it down. Like, I'd never even had the thought. Yeah. Which is kind of crazy that my brain can, like, do that. Mm -hmm. Because it just, like, knows. When you want something so badly. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, (laughs) now I'm like, you want it to be straight that badly? (laughs) Why? <laughs> you want to date a man? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Red flag. <laughs> oh, no. Or even, like, when I think I like, fully came to terms with it and you kept being like, so, like, do you think you're bi? Mm. Or, like, what's the go? And I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to really label it. And I'm like, I really wanted to hold on to the I you love could be men, both. Because bi, in my head, being bi was better. Yeah. Or, like, less of a blow yeah, to everyone. Yeah, yes. Or almost, like... I kind of get it, with oh, this. I still like boys. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not sad, that different, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And you're, just, you're like, so, like, how do you feel about it? I'm like, yeah, it doesn't, yeah. doesn't matter. Oh, are we still not labeled? Yeah, we're still not. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. I'll go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, sure enough, it was making even... my hinge profile. And you're like, what are you putting? And I was like, lesbian. 
It's like, so we're labeling? <laughs> Not that you just need checking. to. Just just I just wouldn't know. <laughs> but again, you don't need to label no, it. No, you don't. But I, think, I was really just in denial. But I also think it wasn't even that long ago I said, like, do you think you'll have sex with the men? <laughs> and I yeah. think you even said, like, yeah, probably. Yeah. I think this was, oh, like maybe before Europe or even in Europe? Europe was a huge turning point, I feel. Yeah. Brighton. <laughs> Brighton was the turning point. I love Brighton. I know. We're going but back. also, like, traveling, I feel like a lot of people surely feel the same about traveling internationally. But I was just like, all of a sudden in Europe, literally didn't know anyone there you could with be my closest friend. Yeah. And I was just like, it literally doesn't matter who you are. Like, it could be at anyone. All. Yeah. No one here cares. Mm hmm. And, like, if no one here cares, then, like, why does it matter anywhere else? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Traveling almost, like, puts things into perspective. Completely. And you're like, oh. Like, and everyone's just out here living their life. Yeah. Why do I care so much? Yeah. It was a huge wake-up call. Mm. Even my Italy vlog, it was a huge deal for me to leave in a line when I said, did I say or you said? I was talking about my outfit. And you're like, oh, it's giving sex appeal. And I was like, it's giving find me a girlfriend. And you're like, I'll give you $1,000 if you keep that in. I'm yeah. like, yeah. And so I did keep it in. And, like, not everyone noticed. No. But there was, like, a few comments. And, and I was just I like. I said that because I was like, you're not going to keep that in. Yeah. And I, I was I feel still like, so against, like, telling yeah, the public. Online. People. Yeah. And I feel like there was multiple things I would say in blogs being like, oh. oh I'll have, well, cut that out. Yeah. Or like, oh, will you keep that in? Yeah. You're like, no. Like, so just, much of I that. I know. Over, like, a year, probably. Yeah. It was like a long year of hints. Mm. <laughs> long year of cutting e- things strokes. out. Who do I think I am? <laughs> yeah. But also with that, it got easier and easier. And the reason I ended up coming out to the people I was like most afraid of, like I had told like everyone in my life apart from my parents mm-hmm. and I was terrified. They were like the, the, pin, the, the top. The top, left of, until last. Yeah. Because I was stressed out of my brains. Mm. What pushed me to come out to them was I wanted to talk about it online mm. because the more feedback that I had gotten from those small little comments I'd made on TikTok or on my vlogs was so nice and supportive. And I was just like, I need to talk to them about it because like they have my back. Yeah. Like they are already being nicer without even knowing like how big of a deal Mm -hmm. this has all been. And I was like, well, I can't like put it online before telling my family. Yeah. So I did. And it was fine. Yeah. Wrote them a letter. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't know if, like, that's the right thing to do. I think... But, like, I knew I wouldn't be able to, like... Say it. Say it. And, like, get my words out right. I would be crying. Mm. And I would have just, like, said something I wish I didn't say. Or, like, I didn't want it to be anything other than, like, what I wanted to say. Exactly. So I wrote a letter. (laughs) Stood there while they read it. When you were telling me that story, I literally (laughs) was saying that, like... like, That would be the most nerve-wracking thing. Yeah. I wanted to vomit all day. Yeah. It was after a soccer game, right? Yeah, I decided that morning. I was like, I'm going to tell them tonight. Literally sat on my couch, wanting to vomit all day. Mm. Like, didn't do anything all Mm. day. And then I went to soccer. They're like, you're going in goals tonight. Never played goals in my entire life. So I was, like, shaking (laughs) in goals. Like, oh. Wow, that's a lot. So stressed. Was that, like, a bad game or a good game? Because, like, you could divert your energy. Awful game. Yeah. (laughs) I was so stressed the whole time. Yeah. Um, But it turned out fine. Mm. But, like, the online support I've received has like blown me away Mm. like I don't know how I have like such a sweet and loving audience yeah do you think that's helped in a lot of way 100% yeah like I haven't even said anything that's like helpful Mm. do you know what I mean like this might not even be helpful Mm. but I know that if I was like watching a youtuber and they were like saying they were going through the same thing you'd just like oh I'm not crazy I'm not alone this isn't ridiculous Mm -hmm. etc I don't have to be embarrassed to feel this way yeah and Mm. had so many people reach out and like tell me their stories and I'm just like oh Mm. and even the friendships that you've kind of like made since then and rekindled since then Mm. because those old friends could relate to you or Mm. even if it's like leaving the church and like you were like oh my gosh I never knew that you felt that way do you know what I mean like you didn't realize how many other people felt the same as you and different yeah because I was so like almost like closed off from the real world like I did that to myself but like even growing up like as a kid all my friends and family went to church I went to a Christian school from preschool to grade 12 Mm. And then I was just like, oh. Yeah. I get to, like, do what I want Mm. and, like, actually decide what I want. Yeah. Well, I think the thing is as well that I remember specifically is, like, asking you questions because I was not related, not related, (laughs) not (laughs) raised religious at all. Actually, can I just say, we went to Soul Surfer once (laughs) fairly early on in our friendship, I would say. And they, like, literally were, like, at, like, a Bible study. And so I was like, oh, I didn't realize this was a Christian (laughs) movie. 
Even like at the beginning when they're singing. Singing. Literally <laughs> hymns. Like Christian songs. Worship but, songs. It's like, oh, it's Cute. So nice. That's a good song. Yeah, I was like, love this song on the beach. Sing along. Oh, like, so that was fun. just like the level of like, you had no idea. No idea. Like I was so out of that world. Like we mm. almost came from complete opposites. And I was more so just like fascinated by it. Mm. But I knew nothing. So I was asking you all these questions like, oh, like, what does this mean? And what do you believe here? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I still remember it specifically. <laughs> I feel like our first like long conversation about it was when we were driving home from the Naked Harvest oh my retreat. Gosh, I remember this. And we were sitting in the car, and I was just like asking all the questions. I was like, sorry, like this, like just pure out of like curiosity. He's like, tell me about this, and you're like, yeah, I honestly don't know. And you're like, I was like, do you believe that? And you're like, I think so. I don't know. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> interesting. And then like a few months later, I was like, okay, he's like, so do you believe that? And you're like. Ugh. No. And I was like, okay. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere a few months later. Uh, do you, so do you? No, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it was just all I knew. Mm. And like what I was told was right. Yeah. I feel like I was being told that if you didn't agree or not, like something felt wrong about it or you didn't like understand you like weren't trying hard enough. Mm. So I was like, it's fully on me that I like am like this. Yeah. But then I realized that it's okay to like mm. disagree. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> whoa, Believe whoa, it or whoa, not, whoa, whoa. it's okay to change your mind and disagree. <laughs> yeah. And I think as well, like, part of it too, as soon as you start to have one friend who maybe sees the world a bit different and then that opens up another whole friend group and then you are on TikTok and that opens up literally the world to you and then you go traveling and you're, the world feels, feels even bigger and you talk mm. to more people and you go, oh, like, I've been in this bubble my entire life. Yeah. And now I'm seeing from every perspective and then you can form your own opinion about yeah, it. Yeah, that's a great way of putting it. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Even sometimes when I would be, like, really, really, really sad. Yeah. I would just look at Winston and I'm like, well, he doesn't care. Yeah. So why should I? Yeah. Why should anyone else? Mm -hmm. When did you come out, like, publicly? Um, Like, October, October last year. How are you feeling now in terms of being out? Like, really good. Mm, so I feel like it's given me, like, almost like a boost of confidence, which mm. I was not expecting at all. Yeah. But it's almost like me coming out, I had to not people please. Like, me coming out is me not people please. Doing the opposite. To its core. Yeah. Because um, it was easier. Yeah. To stay in the closet. Exactly. And to go, go about your life. Yeah. Pretending. So, it's, like, really given me some confidence mm. and, like, stopped my people pleasing. Yeah. To a certain degree. Mm -hmm. I've talked about this on TikTok, but... I feel like I used to, again, why did I not see it sooner? But, like, I would see gay couples and I'd be like, oh, my God, like, they're so cute, like, so beautiful. And I was like, now I feel like that about myself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, if I think that about them, why am I? Exactly. Not giving myself the same? Because you are that. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. It's just, like, really upped my confidence, mm. which feels really good. I feel like I've noticed a huge confidence boost in you, I mean, over the last three, oh, two and a half years that we've known yeah. each other. Like, I genuinely, like, I feel like I was a shell of a human I just, back then. I, yeah. I wasn't, like, I didn't have a personality. Yeah, I think you would just form your personality at the time. Based on everyone who, else. Yeah, you were hanging which out Which is really with. sad. You and think it's, about it. Yeah, it really is. I was like, yep, I want this many kids. And yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I want to get married soon. Yeah, like, mm. I would just like, I'm a robot. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. Aww. And even like now you'll just come out and say things and I'll be like, whoa, like you just have such a strong opinion about something. I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like two and a half years ago, you wouldn't have. Yeah. Or like you wouldn't have said it mm. out loud. Do you know what I mean? Like you yeah. might have just thought it and be like, yeah. push it away or something but also i just feel like it's one of those things where like the more you talk about the easier it gets and like the longer i'm out the easier it feels the more yeah. natural it feels well it's always felt natural but like yeah i mean it's kind of like also okay if it didn't feel natural at the beginning because like it's, it's against so everything different that you knew. yeah knew and believed in almost yeah completely and even just like meeting people who are also gay and like are like oh yeah i had this experience and you're like oh yeah like it just makes it normalized which it should be yeah like that's i'm so grateful for the community they have online because mm. like i actually don't really have any queer friends yeah in real life mm. i'm like one in melbourne the longer i'm out and it's just getting easier and easier yeah which i love to talk about all things sexuality and yeah, yeah. which i never even like allowed myself to think about mm. <sighs> purity culture <laughs> I will also say moving away from my hometown has been like maybe one of the best things I've ever done mm. for this reason. I kind of want to say I was running away, but I really like felt like I couldn't date women in my like hometown. Yeah. It was too, too many connections. Yeah. There. yeah. 
like knew too many people mm-hmm. like grew up there so I just like felt like I really couldn't and yeah. I just like I know it probably didn't look like it but I feel like I really just did a, a 180 mm. and I couldn't I just felt like I had to get out and I couldn't be that same person in the same space yeah like I was just like I've got to go I've yeah. always wanted to live at the beach I my job allows me to mm. I have the financial freedom like I can it was like mentally you were here but like you're still being held here yeah I was just like and feeling you couldn't, so stuck yeah and I was stressed everywhere I went like I I left the church maybe early last year midway mm. through last year and every like not that it would even matter but I was every corner I took I was just stressed I would like see someone and they'd be like so yeah why haven't you been coming and I would be like ah, I don't yeah, know and yeah. like I couldn't like tell them to their face and it was just like I was just so anxious I was just trying to mix anxious and stress yeah <laughs> anxious stress I was just so stressed and anxious that I was gonna see someone and mm. run into someone and, like have to have a really hard conversation that I didn't want to have yeah you weren't ready for yeah so I kind mm. of just ran <laughs> you're like bye but like I'm why is it being been- <laughs> off to live my dream yeah. but like it's been the best thing ever yeah like I walk around here and I just feel like a brand new person mm. which I, I don't know if like I'm not trying to run away from your problems <laughs> but it will fix everything <laughs> in my situation yeah it's really helped and like giving me the space and time mm-hmm. to heal how do you feel now when you go back to like where you grew up um it's kind of like comforting mm. because I know it really well but I everywhere I go I see someone and I'm like ah, oh. yeah you know? Do you kind of feel like, oh, I can't wait to get back to... I, like, come back, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't think I felt like that. I've lived, I've moved around a lot. Mm. I don't think I felt like that in, like, any home I've been to. Wow. Like, I love it here so much. Mm. The best movie you've ever done. Yeah, I agree. Percent. Yeah. Everything just, like, lined up. Yeah. And, like, we were saying, I think, in your episode, like, we were really laying the groundwork mm. last year. Yeah. And now I just get to, Re- like, still, like, just work through some stuff. Yeah alone in my own space mm-hmm. i love it yeah mic drop <laughs> when it's not him dropping his bone as i say mic drop you were born to be a star <laughs> so yeah that's my life <laughs> crazy beautiful and, and above, above all, all epic <laughs> that's our favorite like, i quote love to say. it epic and like above. elena gilbert you're so dramatic and, and i hate you <laughs> Whenever I say epic, I get the ick with myself. Really? Whenever I'm like, oh, it was nah, epic. epic. I was like... <laughs> I feel okay. the same about the word stoked. <laughs> yeah. I find myself wanting to say it all the time. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> That's such an Australian thing. I know. Stoked. I'm stoked, ain't I? <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. That I feel was like fun. I just let that out. I loved it. That feels good. Mm. Do you feel like that was the, the conversation you wanted to have online? Yeah. Mm. You know, like I just didn't know yeah. what the right way to talk about it was yeah. and obviously like this isn't like okay we've said we talked about it once and now it's never yeah. talked about it again like obviously it'll come up All when we just like chat about certain things yeah it's nice to get off but this chest. is like a good like beginner a little background yeah a little background that's what yeah. I'm looking for little. beginner segue what was I saying <laughs> but thanks for listening yeah. and as much as I'm talking about it like I'm, I'm so confident it feels so good it is still like such a fresh mm. thing in my life so talking about it is still like kind of hard I feel mm. like right now I'm sitting on the couch with my best friend like it's not hard at all but I've wanted to talk about this for so long because I wanted to like help but and because I feel like my job is online is to inspire and encourage and motivate but I'm like well sometimes I can't because I'm just trying to like figure this out on my own mm-hmm. so I would appreciate if like all the comments were really nice <laughs> <laughs> even just like not really nice just like respectful yeah again I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and like equally please don't hurt my feelings because I'm sensitive <laughs> and I will cry <laughs> thank you very much do you want your comments brought up in therapy because they will be because <laughs> they will <laughs> my therapist will be asking <laughs> it's funny because she doesn't really understand my job mm. and so we're talking about it and she was like what do you mean when you get hate and i was like oh like people call me like fat and <laughs> ugly she's like oh. oh like pick apart my entire personality <laughs> all my friendships um oh. <laughs> she's like oh okay and i was like but i've blacklisted most words so like it's fine most of the time and she's like uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> like really wrapping it around. It. Yeah, it is a very weird thing. Yeah, but I appreciate everyone being so kind and supportive mm. and encouraging and respectful and accepting. Yeah. Most of all. Mm. I'm just a fresh little baby gay. Be, be <laughs> nice to me, please. It's a scary world out here. <laughs> it's brutal out here. Also, why have I matched with so many girls called Georgia? Yeah, like, huh? Like, why? And, like, is that a red flag? Like, can I not date someone called Georgia? I, I feel think, like I can't. I think it, a name shouldn't let you. Like, if you love the person, yeah. you shouldn't let a name. But, like... But if they're just on a dating app, should I just not swipe right? 
No, I think you should. You don't want to limit your options. Yeah. It's like... Because the options are low. <laughs> already. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, like Taylor Lautner and like his wife? So true. Taylor and Taylor. And, Taylor. And, Taylor. and he dated Taylor Swift. Yeah. Weird. It's kind of like the Georges. <laughs> are the Georges coming? Yeah, they are. No, I kind of hate it. I kind of love it. Yeah, you have matched with a few, haven't you? Yeah. Just so random. Like, I don't know. I don't have any friends called Georgia. No. I've had two friends called Georgia. Including like, two, me. like, three, including Whoa. you. Whoa. Like, best friends. Stop sad, ladies. This is sad. I am here. Last and fan of Georgia is here to stay. <laughs> I haven't had a Sophie. Oh, uh, I did. Oh. Uh, we played soccer together. Did you have a crush on her? <laughs> oh. <laughs> But I'm going to stop talking about it because <laughs> we've said enough. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. We I appreciate it. Week three, episode three. Yeah. Of Let's Unpack That. Let's Unpack That. Of LUT. <laughs> of LUT. <laughs> we've started like just abbreviating it to LUT. Yeah. And, like, Which like, I don't know how I feel. Me neither. Like, it. is that kind of gross? Like, it kind of is. Like, what does it sound like that's bad? LUT. LUT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what I, Dead. the word I hate? Clot. <laughs> Really? There's another word. I don't love slit. It's slit. I think it's actually slit more than clot. I feel like like in smut, people use the word slit. Really? Do they not? To describe what? Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Have I just like brushed past that? <laughs> Everything that I read? I'm reading every word <laughs> simultaneously. <laughs> oh. Talking of smut, Winston oh, yeah. destroyed one of my vibrators oh. last week. That's not where I thought it was going. <laughs> Where do you think it was going? I thought you were going, talking of smart, I've recently started reading lesbian oh, books and it's yeah, life changing. It's changed the game for me. And now maybe you can't. You I know, then enjoy I read st- a straight couple romance and I was just like, oh. Mm. It didn't hit the same. Mm. Makes Which sense. It really it makes make a lot of it sense. It does make sense. Yeah. But like, oh, that really limits my reading options well, now. Because I feel like most books, especially most talked about books, are straight couple relationships yeah i think i'm gonna re reread seven husbands of evelyn hugo yeah i, I think i need to read it, it now maybe we reread it together yeah that'd be really fun that'd be really fun yeah i've been wanting to reread it too i actually rewatched the show i mentioned at the start the wilds mm. i rewatched a few of the episodes the other day just to like feel something because <laughs> i was so sad <gasps> oh. and just like stuck to my couch and i was like well may as well feel something yeah because one of the characters so the, the whole premise of the show is there's a whole plane of girls whose parents have like put them on the plane to like send them away the plane crashes and they get stuck on this island and it's like almost like a psychology test oh to like should i watch it see the girls i've told you to watch it so many times oh and you haven't but it's fine it's fine It is, like, a slow show. Okay. But I was just so hooked on the characters and, like, Mm. wanted to know, like, each of them have something that's going on for them. Yeah, okay. And one of them, raised very religiously, she, her, like, dad's a pastor, falls in love with one of the girls. Wow. Uh, (laughs) Literally, I watched it with one of my friends and I was like, who's your favourite? And she's like, oh, this girl. And I was like, she's like, who's your favourite? I was like, oh, definitely Shelby. (laughs) And she's like, oh, okay. And then when I came out to her, she was like, I kind of thought so. Oh, like. (laughs) The, after this she said this and then this and wild shelby i was like <laughs> yeah i was just throwing all these hints <laughs> throwing them okay maybe i'll watch it there's, i would highly recommend there's so many shows i want to watch right now you just can't stop rewatching your comfort shows <laughs> i can't i always you literally try. never watch new shows i know gossip girl friends sex and city the bold type oh, the bold type modern family taught me so much I oh, feel about same. sexuality. Me too. Yeah. The bold type. Oh, if you haven't watched the bold oh, type, I'm like s- if there's one thing you take oh, away from anything we ever say, the bold type. Watch the bold type. It's so. It touches on so many good, important yes. things, but in such a good way. And so entertaining, not, not like cringe. Too, yeah, not too heavy. Yeah. We've decided that Sophie's a Jane, and I'm a cat. Unfortunately, mm. I don't love cat, but she is. She's better than queer, Jane. So. <laughs> And then our friend Lang is Sutton. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. Of course she is. <laughs> no, I'm in love with Sutton. I'm same. Like, I watched White Lotus season one and two just to see her. So I watched season one and I was like, what? <laughs> what did I just watch? Is this? Yeah. But the whole time I was like, okay, like, something's going to happen and it's all going to tie it together. Little no. guy shits in a thing. <laughs> I'm just like, what am I watching? I'm eating dinner. What am I watching? 
and it ends and I was just like so I watched all of that to watch the second season just so I can watch Sutton yeah. but I haven't like started it yet because I'm like is it just gonna be as bad as weird yeah but like Sutton's in it so yeah. it's fine and Theo James and Theo James yeah oh. also oh. I feel like when we like would talk about celebrity crushes <laughs> males you're like eh. I don't know yeah. yeah and I feel like girls you're always like mm, this, this person this person this yeah person. who are your three Watch, celebrity watching Don't Worry Darling Florence P. I have a crush on Florence P. Yeah, wow. Top top three celebrity crushes. I don't really feel like I have celebrity crushes. I feel like I just like see a lot of like TikTokers and I'm like, wow. Yeah, okay. You know? Florence Pugh really comes to mind. Oh, Hayley shit. Steinfeld. Ooh. He's so beautiful. Georgia sent me a TikTok the other day of Hayley Steinfeld just saying, I'm so gay. <laughs> Is that what you said? It was something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, she's so beautiful. She is like she is stunning. like not meant to be on this earth. No. Growing up when I was like convincing myself I thought men were attractive. Mm. I really was I said that my celebrity crush was the guy in Wild Child. Alex Per something. Pe- yeah. I was like Really? Yeah. But that's not so really interesting. Do you know what I, mean? I never really found him like that attractive. Well, neither did I. <laughs> what about like Troy Bolton. <laughs> Troy Bolton? Yeah. No. Oh, the After crush we went I had and saw the Harry Styles concert, Lang and so the whole time we're like, but you would turn straight for Harry, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, guys, I don't know. Like, if he came to me, I probably wouldn't say no, <laughs> but he will never. So stop asking me. Or even in like Camp Rock, when everyone's like, the Jonas Brothers. I'm like, what What's was her, her name? name? I think her name's Allison in real life. Yeah, Allison. Stoner? Stoner. <gasps> I was in love with her and fully in denial. I feel like in I've seen Cheaper a lot of... by the Dozen. Yeah. She was like the tomboy girl. I was like, <laughs> did you ever watch Stepper? Something is happening inside of me. Yeah. I actually didn't. Cause she plays like, She's I love She's in Stepper. Her. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I need to watch it. Yeah. It's a really good Stepper. I want to watch Wild Child. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should. Poppy, you look British. More. Pop- Poppy more. Sir. Homery guy guy. Homery geeky. Namaste. <laughs> Buckle up, girls. We've got us. That's the wrong wrong girl. Girl. <laughs> You shake the hand of the head, girl. Out of respect. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're literally talking smack. We yeah, need to go. go. Okay. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate it. Please keep the comments respectful. I appreciate it. And yes. we'll see you sometime soon. Whenever Who knows? we see you. Yeah. Bye. Give some R. 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 R